you always have to maintain your concentration and respect. Secondly, you don't do stupid things. Uh -uh. You get bitten and scratched all the time. <coughs> they have claws. Some people think I'm crazy. Wow. Some people think I'm testing my fate. <laughs>We have 10 lions here, and then we have three tigers. We have uh, two leopards, and then we have uh, a cheetah. It's difficult to, uh, to say what the favorite animal is. I would say probably the leopards. Probably the leopard girls, and don't ask me to choose between the two of them. <laughs> <laughs> leopards are solitary animals, and uh, I would say much more dangerous than lions. She's still suckling my finger here. Yeah? Uh -uh, uh -uh. If you don't trust them, then you shouldn't go in with them. <laughs> they're all imprinted, you know, they're raised by us from young. And uh, the bond I have with these two girls are just very special. Uh, special to us and special to me. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah, it's dead. Yes, don't cut, you are. You don't. <laughs> One of the first things you teach cats is to tickle their stomachs. <laughs> oh, yeah, poor shit, poor shit. Her name's Mischief. Her sister is Aurora, she's actually larger. These are actually split leopards. That means that their mother or father was, in her case, the mother was black. Um, it's a natural occurrence in the wild, very rare. So she's a split leopard. A lot of scratches, a lot of blood. It happens, they got 50, centi 50 millimeter claws. Um, it's their instinct to play and to bite, they are playful. Wow. Go. If you disrespect an animal that will hurt you, <laughs> it's going to happen at some stage. And the sad part is that uh, the animal always gets blamed and it's always human stupidity. I mean, uh, they are dangerous, you've got to respect them. We have a lot of interesting animals like warthogs, we've got porcupines and uh, European bush pigs. All the animals here are captive born, 90% of them have been hand raised by us. They've never been in the wild, they've never, they've, they don't know what it is. So uh, and they will also not survive in the wild. I have to defend the fact that we own lions every day. You know, if, if I can give my lions a better life than to go walk around in the wild, then I'll be a cruel person not doing that. But they are captive. I didn't ask for them to be born, they're there. Once you get into this, the reward is, is, is obviously ginormous. I'm just opening here to say hi to Brutus and Rufus. I'll go into the enclosure just now. And this is to prevent them from going overexcited when I go inside. These guys are about 250 kilos, so respect is needed. <laughs> Come. Out. Come. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Rufus and Brutus, the two lion brothers, they were two years old on the 1st of May. Um, they are the largest here. Sorry, this is my normal tone of voice when I talk to them. These guys are beautiful. All right, that seems to work. Let's go to the other side. Ow! Come! You can always see if there's anything wrong. Body language, you gotta give them this space. Come on, get to Come out. I've raised them since they were eight days old, these two guys. Um, wiped their bums, <laughs> gave them milk. So now they're big. You get bitten and scratched all the time. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. And it's not that they want to hurt you, it's just they have claws. Come, Patrick, come. 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 Out. Come. Please, look. Please, look. <laughs> I've got four lions inside here. Uh, there's two females that's about two years and eight months old, two years and nine months. And then these two boys here, Jack and Daniels, they're a year and a half, all sub adults. The females here are already larger, all the same size as a normal, a normal white lion. The two females are very, very naughty. They are juveniles. So uh, they, they get busy sometimes. Come on, Come on. Out. 
<laughs> some people think I'm crazy, some people think I'm testing my fate. You must remember I do this for a living and I do it out of love and trust. <laughs> 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 interaction wise, the only other person so far that I've trusted with interactions with some of these animals is my wife. I do get a fright every time he goes in, but I still love it though. It brings a lot of love in my heart and to see his passion. Not a lot of people can do it, what he does, or is willing to do it. It's really something to be proud of. For me, every moment with the animals are memorable. Okay guys, we're gonna go in with Shadow, our Siberian male tiger. Uh, he's still a baby actually. He's very, very large. Siberians are the largest cats in the world. This guy was uh, raised by me and my wife since he was about two weeks old. Uh, he's a very awesome boy. He's got two years of growth left in him. So let me go inside and say hello to Shadow. Okay. Hello Shadow. Hello Shadow cut you. Hello. Shadow goes for about six to eight chickens in a session. And they get fed every second day now. We skip Sundays. So it's Monday, Wednesday, uh, Fridays. But they also do get uh, supplements every second day. I forget how fortunate I am all the time to be able to work and love these animals. You'll be surprised how much love these guys give you back. It's probably the most rewarding job in the world.